According to the Bangkok Post, Thailand's Interior Minister Anyutin Charmverkel has issued an order to halt the issuance of gun licenses by the Gun Registration Agency for one year. This measure is intended to address and reduce incidents of gun violence. The ban on issuing gun licenses will come into effect the day after the announcement is published in Thailand's Royal Gazette. However, the gun control measure exempts state officials such as police from the ban. Thai authorities have halted the issuance of new licenses for the import and sale of imitation firearms to existing license holders. The issue of gun violence and control in Thailand has been a long-standing concern. Currently, Thai citizens over the age of 20 can purchase guns from stores, provided they meet certain conditions and obtain approval from the relevant authorities. Even foreigners are allowed to apply for gun ownership in Thailand if they possess a legal work permit or permanent residence permit and own property worth more than 10 million Thai baht. Upon approval, they are granted the right to possess firearms. Thailand has a population of over 69 million, with approximately 6 million individuals owning guns, constituting 1 in 10 people. Survey data from the Thai Police General Administration in 2019 revealed over 31,400 gun-related cases in Thailand that year. Among them, more than 24,300 cases involved unregistered illegal firearms, making up 77.5% of the total cases. Gun violence has been a significant issue in Thailand, with numerous incidents involving firearms. The Siam Paragon Shopping Mall shooting in October 2023 was a tragic incident in Bangkok, where a 14-year-old boy opened fire on a crowd, resulting in three deaths and five injuries. The shooting incident in Nongma Lamphu Province on October 6, 2022, was a tragic event where an attacker carried out indiscriminate shooting at a local kindergarten, resulting in nearly 40 deaths, with the majority being children. According to various media reports, this incident stands out as the deadliest shooting by a lone perpetrator in Thailand's history. In 2020, a Thai soldier shot and killed his commander in Nakhon Ratchasima province, then proceeded to a shopping mall in the city, indiscriminately shooting innocent passers-by along the way. After entering the mall, he continued to shoot more people. The incident resulted in 30 deaths and dozens of injuries. The above-mentioned shooting cases have brought attention to the issue of gun control in Thai society. Chippa Kittikorn, then deputy chairman of the Police Affairs Committee of the House of Commons of Thailand, has stated that the committee will convene to discuss measures to make it more challenging for individuals to acquire legal firearms. They are considering implementing a requirement for gun owners to renew their licenses every two to three years. High Prime Minister Shretha Thavison has expressed the government's commitment to taking preventive measures, including implementing gun control measures to prevent similar incidents from occurring in the future. The suspension of gun licenses in Thailand is currently awaiting approval from Prime Minister Shretha Thavison. Tune in every Monday to Thursday at 8 p.m. for Chinky View, The Business Bridge.